everybody. It's another Friday with Father Scott. So first, happy Easter. I uh, hope you had a wonderful, blessed, and holy Easter. And so we're in the Easter season. And I'm going to begin with the gospel for this upcoming Sunday, also known as uh, Divine Mercy Sunday. On the evening of the first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said, receive the Holy Spirit. Whose sins you forgive are forgiven them. Whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, put your fingers here and see my hands and bring your hand and put it into my side and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, my Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief, you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, Divine Mercy Sunday. Here we are uh, a week after the great celebration of Easter. And uh, I know quizzing the children in our school I think most of them have consumed all of their Easter goodies uh, because uh, either that or they're unwilling to share with me when confronted on the issue. So, uh, but we have that beautiful reading uh, about Thomas, uh, who's a twin, and the twin is not named. And I, I like to say that I think he's he's not named because that's probably me or you. That for the moments in our lives when we doubt and uh, almost to have Jesus stand in front of us and say, look, look, do not be unbelieving, but believe. And so it really uh, is a powerful a gospel. I think that speaks to a lot of folks and it's in a, many different ways. Um, and uh, Divine Mercy Sunday when we celebrate God's great gift of mercy uh, to his people. Uh, and uh, if we can only come to fully believe in the gift of uh, God's love for us, uh, that would probably change the whole world. Uh, today, is uh, we, play, we do film a little early. We had two baptisms today uh, in our school, uh, during our school mass. And they were delightful. Just watching a, a little bitty, uh, a kindergarten student answer the questions, do you believe, do you believe? I do, I do, and a fifth grader as well, and uh, baptizing them, and the older one being confirmed and making his first communion. But just the joy that comes with uh, a new freedom to live as the children, as a child of God. So. Uh, in divine mercy, I think, uh, I think in in times like these, it, it uh, has more of a, we need to preach it, and we need to witness to it, God's mercy in our world these days, so that everyone knows of God's love, uh, and so uh, here we are. This first full week after Easter and we're as a community of faith we're still reeling because we're part of the larger community 
what's happened in our city. So let us keep in mind um, all those touched by the tragedy of uh, last Monday. Pray for all the victims um, and, and, and try to make the world a, a better place to get involved, to make change and be the change uh, for the better. So uh, divine mercy, uh, it's, uh, it's upon us the second Sunday of Easter. And uh, today's gospel for the children was the Emmaus story and beginning in Jerusalem, telling and sharing the good news. And that's what we're about, telling and sharing the good news, to be his witnesses in the world. So divine mercy, let us share it. And maybe more importantly, to, 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 the, to be it for people around us. Until we meet again, ladies and gentlemen, check on your neighbors and your friends. Uh, uh, and, um, you know, our uh, time as a school community is, is shrinking very quickly. Uh, my time as your pastor is shrinking very quickly. Uh, June the 21st, we'll be here before you know it. So let us continue to pray for each other and ask God's blessing on all that we do. So until we meet again, take care. God bless.